السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته، السيد مولاي قائم أبي محمد بن صالح بن سلام. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته، أهلا وسهلا بكم. Thank you so much for the honor. Thank you so much for the honor of being in your holy presence tonight and for this historic moment to have this gathering and this session with you. And before I read these questions, I just wanted to say just. Um, listening to uh, your words um, over these few minutes, just um, thanking you for giving us a glimpse of uh, God's kingdom on earth to come, and that uh, we know we will see under your rule and under your banner. And also for um, finally, after centuries and centuries and thousands of years, um, bringing us as children of God finally back to God and healing relationship with God that um, we were deprived of and we never had a chance to truly know him and true knowing um, because you and your forefathers were not given a chance to rule. So um, I thank you both from the bottom of my heart for that. So I'll start with the questions from the believers from around the world and um, this, uh, the first question is a question on the Incarnation. Uh, that is a combined question from Turkey and from Azerbaijan, uh, from uh, Batuhan, Yüce Turk, and from Jinnah. And the question reads, um, we understand that each soul reincarnates to this earth several times to reach its full potential and growth. Are these numbers of rounds determined in advance or are they open? And if they are predetermined, then how does the number of rounds gets decided for that particular soul. And at what point of the soul's journey do these rounds end and the soul goes to its destination, whether heaven or hell? That was the first question. So, first off, uh, peace and blessings be upon the believers in the east and west of the land. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he gathers this, uh, them with us as uh, soon as possible. Mm -hmm. And in terms of this question, the amount of incarnations uh, that a person would incarnate on the planet is the amount of incarnations that it takes for that person to either reach a state of full belief, so he reaches the epitome of belief, or he reaches the epitome of disbelief. Uh, the amount of incarnations that it takes a person to become a saint, or a martyr, or a prophet, or a messenger, or the amount of incarnations it takes him to go the opposite route, which is to be like a pharaoh, or a nimrod, or a tyrant uh, that oppresses and kills people, and has zero belief in his heart. So, because God is so merciful, He continues to give mankind chance after chance after chance after chance after chance, life after life after life after life after life, after life. so long as God sees within that person uh, a spark, a teeny spark of light or, or, or a glimpse of hope. Um, but once that person reaches the state where they don't believe at all and it is impossible that they will believe, then that person uh, ends his worldly incarnations and he goes on to the greater punishment, uh, sometimes which is you know, prefaced by a lesser punishment of mask in this world, but he'll go on to uh, hellfire. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 